Our day begins at the crack of nine. Good morning, magical snow people. We are on our way to the beautiful, that is noisy, Brian Head. Start off, most of us uh, live here in a place called Cedar City, Utah. It's in uh, southern Utah. Oh, about an hour and 10 minutes north of the uh, border with Nevada and, uh, well not Nevada, but uh, Arizona really, which is weird. It is uh, Tuesday the 30th of November, year of our Lord 2021. And uh, we have not had any snow for a few weeks now. Geez, probably close to a month. Um, I do believe that they've been making a lot of snow, so that's good. But it doesn't replace uh, Mother Nature. But to be honest with you, it is fairly typical for us to not get a whole lot of snow um, at this time of year, so I'm not worried about it. I don't know whether I'm gonna be up there on uh, chair six, Navajo, or chair three over on Giant Steps. We will find out. Let's see how the day unfolds, shall we? Um, if you wouldn't mind, please like the video, share it, and uh, subscribe uh, for more epic awesomeness. Thank you. Woo, day six that the uh, resort is open. Um, day five for me on the uh, mountain for the season. And this guy's gonna be running our uh, one of our lifts, no doubt. Yeah, With, What's your name again? Ryan. Ryan. Last name? Guiling. Guiling. All right. What, uh, what lift are you gonna be on? Three. All right. So we know if, uh, if we're going up three, we're gonna have Ryan over there taking care of us. So we'll see how today goes. Let's hope for the best, eh? right now putting out slow signs so people know that this particular run is uh, somewhere they need to be careful and think about their speed. All right, so what we're doing now is we look for any, uh, any kind of obstacles, like snow gun, that's gonna need marked. We're actually opening this uh, part of the run right here today. So we got a little more, a little more terrain. If you're gonna be coming here, um, over the next few days or so uh, You might want to pack your bikini and or man thong because it's pretty warm one of the more fun and exciting things to do is uh, carry Carry what we call boo or bamboo some of its bamboo a good portion of it now is this poly boot Wrap that uh, frankly I dislike because it's hard to uh, get a purchase on for the uh, little clove hitches that we're tying. Oh well, uh, what big issue with it is way heavier than regular bamboo, so carrying it down the mountain is uh, a wee bit more dangerous. So, whatever. My middle name is Danger. It's not Wade, it's Shannon Danger Scott. Whatever. But uh, Calvin struggle there. It's kind of fun. Could have helped him, but that would make it far less entertaining. All right, you having fun? Yeah. Doing good? Yeah. Hell yeah. He's got a, an appropriate mustache. I never thought, I, I was growing this mustache out just because my wife wanted this. To yeah, my, my wife too. What's going on with that? Cool. So, usually we do uh, put this stuff in, uh, put it up in teams of two you got one guy being the pole man <laughs> sounds like a Friday night and then we got another guy drilling the hole <sighs> oh, I cracked myself up if you're thinking about coming here right now it's actually a rather good time because We don't have that many beautiful snow people at the moment, and uh, it's great uh, great to get in some early season, get your, uh, shake the rust off um, before you get here for the crazy 
um, Christmas time frame. I think we met you before. What was your name again? I'm Ethan. Ethan. Yeah. So is this your first year uh, doing lift ops? It is, yeah. It's the first nice. day. Oh, it's your first yeah. day. What? Uh, what's your star sign? My star sign. Are you like a Sagittarius or? I'm a Scorpio. It's a Scorpio. Yeah. Ethan the Scorpio. That's well, welcome to Brian Head, brother. Thank you. You know what kind of day it is? It's a scorpion's kind of day. You might remember uh, DJ Jazzy Steven from uh, DJ Jazzy Scorpion. The Magic Carpet Ride over there on Navajo. Steven's actually a very, very good um, lift operator. And frankly, obviously, the, uh, the resort wouldn't run without those guys and gals. This delicate maneuver, as you can see, Calvin is holding the spool. Well, AJ pulls it out there, and we're gonna go ahead and go all the way down the hill. Got the rope pulled out. We're gonna go ahead and continue with drilling and sticking. One of our favorite things. It's one American hero, ninja, zombie. All right, Calvin. So let's do a little uh, little interview ski here. All right. Okay. What uh, what's your star sign? Star sign? No. It's very important. When were you born? When were you born? Uh, February. No, so Pisces. Crab. You're a Pisces weirdo. Oh, man. It's from the Latin pescadero. <laughs> anyway, so uh, where are you from? I was originally from Provo. Okay. Yeah. Why, why did you uh, want to be on Ski Patrol? Yeah, so I really didn't think about doing it until a couple months ago. Sweet. What are your thoughts so far? It's good. We just need more snow, so I think it'll look busier. And what are you even talking about? <laughs> it looks great. I have my four-year-old pray for snow every night. Oh, good. Goes. Did you name him Calvin II, the sequel? No, actually, I am Calvin Jr. Oh. And so he, we're waiting for Calvin III. So, he, so my sons are actually adopted. Oh, cool. And, yeah, All right. so we didn't really choose the name. Yeah, yeah. Kind of came with the name and yeah. everything. And he's four. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Very good. So one of the more important aspects of ski patrol is that ranch work we talked about. So we have young Calvin. He's actually not 18, contrary <laughs> to popular belief. He's a 55-year-old man. What's the time? Something love mango. I don't know. Probably just a catchy name in Spanish. It is mucho hace color. It's delicious, right? Yeah, yeah. So Brock provided these. I'm very grateful. Thanks, pal. So one of the things that uh, we're really focusing on this year is uh, uh, parking punishments. We're monochromatic. We only use white, gray, and off-white and black. And David bravely began to shoot video and photos for the gram. And it just so happens that David is actually a professional photographer. That's weird. Oh my goodness. Wow. They're not sponsored by Head, although that's funny. Like so this is the gentleman that originally bought my fantastic skis that I love ever so much. Noah's have skied in Alaska. Oh, <gasps> skied. skied in British Columbia. Um, that's why they got so much soul. These things are fantastic. <laughs> I could tell they knew what to do better than me when I got them. <laughs> On Brian Head Ski Patrol, you too can afford almost one dollar Michelina Fettuccine Alfredo that is now ice cold. How'd the day go for you, Steve? Thank you, gentlemen. Welcome to this episode of Ski Patrol Cribs. So this is the shack on top of three. We do have, it does come with complimentary dead wasps. Good. Yeah, we'll just have to put it back in tomorrow. I'll stay up just in case. What are you talking about? You guys got cell signs? Now I am waiting for the word that we are clear for the night. Appreciate you guys and gals coming along, you beautiful, beautiful snow people, you. Um, please, if you wouldn't mind, like the video, share it, 
and uh, subscribe for more epic awesomeness like this. I think I may have figured out what uh, parking punishments means. I have to park like three miles away. Although it turns out that on uh, weekdays we don't have to park that far away, but uh, whatever. <laughs> We're monochromatic. We only use white, gray, and off-white and black.